Hey there, welcome to our quick and easy tutorial on Puppeteer Proxy integration with Bright Data. In just a few minutes, we'll show you how to set up and use proxies with Puppeteer to supercharge your web scraping projects. Let's dive right in. To begin, follow these steps for Puppeteer Proxy integration with Bright Data. Start by heading over to your Bright Data dashboard and click on Create a Zone. Now it's time to configure your settings. Choose your network, zone name, IP type, IP count, geolocation, domain targeting, and then click Save. Now it's time to find your proxy credentials. Click on Access Parameters, and that's where your proxy credentials will be located. Go to Proxy Info and grab it from there. Within Puppeteer, fill in the proxy IP port and the proxy server value, for example, brd.superproxy.io colon 22225. Under page.authenticate, input your Bright Data account ID and proxy zone name and the username value. For example, brd-customer-customer-zone-yourzone and your zone password found in the zone settings. Now, let's look at how to integrate Puppeteer with Bright Data's proxy manager. Create a zone with the desired network settings and specify the number of IPs you wish to use. Then install the proxy manager. Inside the proxy manager, click add new proxy and then choose the zone settings that you need. Then click Save. In Puppeteer, under the proxy server, input your local IP and proxy manager port. For example, 127.0.0.1 colon 24000. The local host IP is 127.0.0.1. The port created in the proxy manager is 24xxx, for example, 24000. Here's an example of Puppeteer code using the proxy manager. And that's it. You're now ready to use Bright Data Proxies with Puppeteer for your web scraping needs. If you want to start using these proxies, simply head over to Bright Data's website and start a free trial.